Hi, I'm Noelle Randall, real estate millionaire, mentor, and mom of five. And in this story, in this video, we are going to share with you the story of New Res Incorporated, a real estate crowdfunded company that I started from scratch and use regular investors that were non-accredited to build this whole company. In this video, we're going to share with you and show you the acquisition of our first properties from beginning to end. It's an amazing story, and I'm excited to share this journey with you. As we stand here today and you see all of the successes of New Res Incorporated, it is from hard work, property searches, and careful planning. But it did not all start this way. Many of you know me from my successful YouTube channel, Noel Randall. However, I did not start off as a success in real estate. I started from my parents' basement. I literally was bankrupt, had multiple foreclosures, and terrible credit. I started investing in real estate in 2002, 2003. I was in my early 20s and I was living in Atlanta. I was young and I was flipping houses on the side with a full-time job. I was enjoying all of what the market was offering in 2003 and 2004 and properties just kept going up and up. I really had no idea what I was doing in real estate. Quite frankly, I was just doing what I saw on television and what my coworkers were doing. And we were making money flipping houses even with a full-time job. However, when 2008 and the financial crash happened, I ended up losing everything. I ended up back in my parents' basement where I'm from, Bloomfield, Connecticut. It was an awful time. I was married, I had two kids, and I was pregnant with my third kid at the time. I felt like a complete loser. But in my parents' basement, I started licking my wounds and tried to decide what it is that I was going to do with my life and how I had failed so miserably in real estate. So while I was in my parents' basement, able to go to school for free, had no bills, I started learning about real estate. I started going to real estate investor association meetings, I started going to seminars and courses, and I started to learn the correct way to invest in real estate. I even got a real estate coach when I had no money, but it turned my life around. I was able to start wholesaling properties, which means find properties that are in a situation where the person is behind on their payments, they're in bankruptcy, foreclosure, they got relocated, or something like that. In other words, find someone with a property problem, get that property under contract, and then flip that contract to an investor for a fee. My coach taught me this, and that is how I got out of my parents' basement. Once I got out of my parents' basement from wholesaling, then I got back into fixing and flipping the correct way, and then I was able to eventually quit my six-figure job with my rental properties. I basically just kept growing as I learned. So once I found all of the success and I was able to quit my six-figure job, I started the YouTube channel and started teaching people real estate, and it just grew and grew. New Res Incorporated is basically an invention of my students. I had so many students that wanted to flip houses, they wanted to invest in real estate, but they didn't necessarily have the time to do it. So I created New Res Incorporated as a way where almost anyone could invest as little as $500. I would use my team and my expertise and we would acquire the properties and then we would split the profits with our investors. So one of the questions I'm asked so often is about Noel's vision for New Res. And I will quickly explain to you my vision for New Res Incorporated. It's really based on my years of experience as a real estate investor. Obviously, I started investing in 2002, 2003, and it did not work out for me. I literally had to go back and retrain myself after I lost everything in 2008 and 2009. But I've been very successful in real estate since that point after I started getting the correct training on how to buy properties at a discount and then how to maximize the profits of them. So New Res was really birthed out of the idea that I was able to teach some people that and many people were able to sign up for my courses and my mentorship. But as things have grown, this became the better opportunity where I could just take my expertise, my team, my years of experience, and we could buy properties and we could still use my expertise and I could share the profits and the revenues with all of my investors. So let's talk about the birth of New Res Incorporated and how I got connected with the original shark Kevin Harrington from the hit TV Shark Tank. I had actually applied to be on Shark Tank many of times unsuccessfully. So it was quite an amazing story when I got connected with Kevin Harrington and he decided to endorse New Res Incorporated. 
A friend of a friend that helps me with marketing introduced me to Kevin Harrington and I pitched the whole idea to him. We sat together and I talked to him and told him what I was trying to do, how I wanted to help my students and other people that were on YouTube and LinkedIn and all of these platforms where I have all of these big followings, how I could start to incorporate these regular people into real estate investing and show them that they can start making money in the process. Well, Kevin told me about something I had never heard of, which was a crowdfund or a regulation CF. That's the guidelines through the Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC, is considered a regulation CF. So let me break that down for you. Kevin explained to me that with the help of attorneys and accountants, we could put together a memo that explained exactly what the investment was, it explained what we were doing with the money, and it clearly explained to any even beginner investor how they would get a return on their investment. This was a very simple process because I had been teaching real estate investing for so long and working with newbie investors. So I knew I had to keep it very simple. We had to clearly explain, they put their money in, we had to clearly explain what we were going to do with the money, and then we had to clearly explain how they got their return on their investment. So we put those together in about three weeks and we were able to launch and get our crowdfund approved through the Securities and Exchange Commission. It was amazing. I learned so much. As our idea developed, Kevin and his team, we worked together to create a situation where we were gonna launch our crowdfund to the general public. Our motivation for starting the crowdfund and doing New Res Incorporated was not only to give people a return on their investment, but to really show them that real estate investing could be for anyone. Real estate and the idea that we had was very profitable. Like I said, I used to do a lot of long-term rentals, meaning I would have rental properties that I would rent out vacant and unfurnished. And I was only making about $300 per property on average. But once we decided to go the short-term rental route, meaning we would furnish and put the properties together for Airbnb and sites like that, we realized that we could make nearly three times the profit of a vacant rental property. So the rental model that we were doing with short-term rentals was so much more profitable than the long-term rental model that we could have more profits and share those profits with all of our investors easily. Some of the immediate challenges and hurdles that we had to overcome was not only getting investors to invest, you know, we had to raise the money and start getting people to put the money into the fund. The second thing that we had to overcome was the pandemic. Like I said, we launched our company in February of 2020. We had this big party with Kevin Harrington at his studio in Largo, Florida. There were so many people there and everyone was so excited for the launch of New Res Incorporated. Unfortunately, in March of 2020, the whole country shut down and our plans had to get shifted. The country was in a pandemic and no one was leaving their homes. Therefore, the short-term rental model that we have boasted and made all of these big claims about was falling by the wayside. So we had a lot of challenges and hurdles to overcome with New Res Incorporated when we first launched, mainly because of the pandemic and because we had unaccredited investors that got really nervous really early. Our goal for New Res Incorporated was to raise money and begin acquiring properties immediately to produce cash for the company. But first, I had so many businesses that I was trying to run that I had to make sure that they were all intact. I had to get Noel Randall coaching run by someone else. I had to make sure the coaches could work without me while I was out busy looking for properties. I had to make sure that we had all of our structures and everything properly together for all of our investors so that they could come not only invest in the properties, but so that they could also enjoy and stay at the properties. All the while, my YouTube channel was exploding. My YouTube channel has grown exponentially from 2020 onwards. It seemed like the more I grew New Res Incorporated, the more people were tuning into my YouTube channel to watch me and learn about real estate investing. New Res Incorporated became the example of the real estate game that I was teaching on my YouTube. The two entities just combined so well. My YouTube channel, Noel Randall, teaches real estate State investing and New Res Incorporated shows people the properties and what we're really doing. It's a wonderful marriage where people can learn about New Res or learn about real estate investing, whichever it is that they choose, they're learning real estate. During 2020, my YouTube channel grew from about 6,500 subscribers to well over 100,000 subscribers in that one year. And today it's nearly 400,000 subscribers. 
After we got over the initial hurdles of putting the structure of new res together, we had to then tackle getting properties. We needed properties in order to create profits for our investor. But because of the pandemic, we wanted to be very cautious. So we started off, instead of buying a lot of the properties that we had intended on buying, we started leasing properties, just because we knew that would be a little bit safer. And if the property was not profitable, we could just break the lease and move on to the next property. Now, we started getting some properties in Clearwater and in Miami, mostly around Florida, because the pandemic taught us that people were still traveling to Florida, even when they weren't supposed to be. So we realized that it was one of the first states to open back up and travelers and business people started traveling to Florida at some good numbers. So we knew that was where we wanted to be. I am so excited. Guess who just closed on their new office in Orlando? Yes, we did buy a real estate company. There were a few people that doubt it, but here is our real estate company. It is ours now, officially we closed. We're gonna be changing the name, but the company is gonna keep the name Hampton in some regard because that is the name of this large condominium complex. If you can look, all of these condominiums here, more than 734 units. This is the largest condominium complex in all of Orlando. That's where I am. So this is our new office here in Orlando. We're about to get it all put together. Come on inside. I'm excited to share this with you. So we're, you know, we're already taking this down. This is going to be new res blue. This is coming down. This is going to be Hampton new res's office. We have real estate agents. We have a mortgage license, a licensed mortgage broker in like seven states. We're going to be licensed in every single state for mortgages. So we're going to be able to help people with their short term rentals, their Airbnbs, help you with your investments. We're buying tons of property. We have so much cash. We are trying to get more real estate so we can have our cash making money. And I'm just excited to show you our new office and let you know that it is real and it can happen. And yes, you can be in your parents' basement and then be a multimillionaire and own real estate companies and buy businesses looking like this. It is possible. I appreciate all of you guys so much. Just happy to share this moment with y'all. Have a good one. All the while of building new res, I was still working on my Noel Randall YouTube channel. I wanted to make sure that I was still bringing great content and quality information to people so that they could learn real estate investing, regardless as to whether they invested in New Res Incorporated or not. My goal with New Res and my goal in life is to make sure that people are learning and investing in real estate because it changed my life and I wanna make sure people have that same opportunity to change theirs. So as we have started to grow our business, we're monitoring and we've slowed our pace down a little bit, but we are still heavily focused on this area. We know that this area sees so many tourists and so many travelers. In fact, it's over 70 million prior to the pandemic. And we expect that those numbers after we see the correction will be double that in the next five to 10 years. So all economic indicators prove to us that the Orlando Kissimmee area of Florida is an amazing area to invest in. And we're continually grabbing properties in that area because we know that not only do our tourists and our business people enjoy it, our investors love coming to stay at our properties in this area as well. The area is definitely growing. Not only did we face these complications of the lockdown, we also faced many complications where we did not raise as much money as we initially projected. We really had to readjust what we were doing and reproject some of the things that we were going to do, how many employees we were gonna have, how many properties we were gonna have, and readjust what our profits were going to be and what returns on investments we were gonna give to our investors. But we were always optimistic, we were always positive, we knew this would turn around and this was a great business model that would fare through the weather. After all of this turmoil, we did discover that we could adapt. We learned that we could lease properties in New Res's name, even though the business was not two years old. Because I had other businesses that were more established and had longer business credit histories, I was still able to get properties that I leased in New Res's name so that we did not spend a lot of money getting properties that were able to cash flow. Then we decided we would start to buy properties that we could get at a discount. Again, because we did not raise as much money in the time frame that we thought, we had to readjust our plan for staffing and our plan for property acquisition. 
As a real estate investor, I had properties that I literally gave to New Res Incorporated to build a portfolio so that we could start cash flowing. I had townhouses and things like that in the Orlando area when I used to live in Dallas. I started investing in Dallas very heavily and I lived there for over seven years from 2012 to about 2019. So when I was in Dallas, I started investing in Orlando, Florida, and I had five or six properties that I was able to give over to New Res Incorporated to manage and so that New Res could start seeing some profits really early on in the game. And then opportunity knocked and we heard about the duplex property. Not only was this a prime luxury property in a resort area, but it also had the element of being a property problem for the builder who was selling it. So let's kind of talk about how I decided on this property and how we were going to go about getting it. Uh, well, like I said, one of the things that I wanted to do was get the best property that we possibly could since it was the first property that we were going to buy in New Rez's name. And I knew that I had a lot of investors that I was going to be um, beholden to. And I wanted to make sure this was like a grand slam. So I was super deliberate when I was, you know, putting my real estate agent hat back on and really combing through the inventory around Kissimmee, really focusing on what was near Disney World, what was near Universal Studios, what was near SeaWorld and, you know, Legoland and like all of the major attractions that are in the Orlando Kissimmee area. And so there's a few subdivisions, this being one of them, Encore Resort, that does very well for Disney. The subdivision Encore is actually owned by Reunion. So this Kissimmee, Florida area is actually called Reunion because this resort has hundreds and hundreds of single family homes, condos, and hotels. So it's Reunion and then it's Encore, which is the subdivision that we are in. It is a division of Reunion. And then you also have Bears Den, which is the upscale luxury um, homes in this resort. And so we'll show you some of those as well. But Encore being the main subdivision where a lot of vacation rentals come. We I did a lot of research on this area and saw how many people were coming to this area, how much these homes were renting for per night, and how many people could stay in these properties. Um, the data on these area was very good. The cheapest home rents in here for about $300 per night, and the smallest home in this subdivision is five bedrooms, and they have properties that go up to 12 or 14 bedrooms, I forget. And so tons of places for people to stay, um, multiple families can stay here and they're booking at again from $400 a night to almost $1,000 per night depending on how many bedrooms and the amenities of the house. Like I said, this property is a duplex because it has the same floor plan downstairs and upstairs. There's three full bedrooms, three full bathrooms, and a half bath on each floor. So it's a total in this entire home of six bedrooms six full bathrooms and two half bathrooms. But again, you'll notice the floor plan is exactly the same downstairs and upstairs. So there's a full kitchen on both floors. There is a refrigerator and a dishwasher and a pantry and everything. So it is a full unit on each floor. But legally, this property is not a duplex. However, for the purpose of what we are doing with short-term rentals, we can use it as a duplex. We can rent both the first level and the second level separately, or we can rent them together. So another amazing thing about this, the property in Encore, and why I chose this property is because included in the HOA, the Homeowners Association, you know, a monthly fee that we pay to be a part of this resort, is of course you have access to all of these amazing amenities, not just the amenities at the property. There's a large resort, there's restaurants, there's a fitness center. You see all of these beautiful beautiful amenities that this resort has and that is included for our guests with the HOA that we pay. So our guests love coming here and this is one of the reasons why they pay more per night to stay not only at our property but to have access to those amenities. So one of the things that is so important when I am deciding whether to buy a property or not buy a property, especially in this scenario where it is for an investment and we are using it for short-term rental, you have to be very deliberate. I'm very deliberate in some of the things that I'm looking for. So of course, it is all about how much money this property is going to make in the long term. So whenever we're buying a property, of course, we start with what we buy the property for because more than the cash flow, you want to buy a property that's going to be appreciating in value so that you can sell it if you need to. And I also look for properties 
properties that I could easily bounce back between long-term rental and short-term rental. Like I said, because we're doing short-term rental, Airbnb, booking.com, you know, you get what I'm saying? Renting it out on a nightly basis. Of course, the area is very important, but I'm also very deliberate to make sure if this property is not profitable, especially a property that I'm buying, I can put a long-term tenant in here and still cash flow this property. Additionally, I could sell the property in a few years and based on what the property's area has been appreciating, know that I'm going to make money when I cash out on it. So it was super important when I chose this property and when I choose properties to look at what the values in that area is doing. I start off before I even go into the short term, I go right for the property. Like if I was not going to put it on short term rental, if I was going to make this a long term rental property, how much are homes appreciating for in this area? And one of the things that I did notice is that homes were appreciating at a pretty steady rate in the Encore and the Reunion resorts. You know, people were able to make a cash flow and then they were able to get five and 10% returns. Um, the values were going up at about 5% per year, depending on the property itself. And most of the properties were cash flowing at about, you know, 40 to $50,000 per year. So it was amazing how well the properties were doing cash flow wise and depreciation wise. So um, I don't usually buy new construction properties. Being really honest with you, that's not usually the best investment, but this turned out to be a majorly awesome investment because I was able to work with the builder and there was some distress there. So one of the things that you may hear Noel always talking about is you want to buy properties where there is some type of distress. You know, I usually go after someone that's behind on their mortgage payment or, you know, in bankruptcy or foreclosure or probate or something like that. So you may be asking yourself, why did you buy an empty brand new construction home, you know, $500,000 with a HOA. Well, I noticed that the homes in this area were selling in the 600s. In fact, this property, we got it, it was listed for 540,000, okay? This was the last property in, that in this whole area, and this was the only floor plan of its type. Like I said, it is a duplex the way it is built, but it is not legally a duplex, but for our purpose, it is a duplex. It is built exactly like a duplex would, but because of the zoning, they could not put in two electrical meters and things like that. So I get the benefit of having a duplex without having to have it legally be a duplex because we're putting it on short-term you know, rental sites. That's the first thing. The second thing is I was paid a 9% commission because they were in distress and they were trying to move out of this area and move down to the street um, to finish building down there. This was the absolute last house and they had it listed at 540. I negotiated them down to 500,000 and then I also negotiated a 9% commission for myself, which was $45,000. So giving you the raw numbers, you can see that we paid, new res paid, $455,000 for this property. That was the net price. The house next door is owned by a very famous uh, person. I'm not gonna say this person's name, um, but he is someone that is on television and that property is an eight bedroom, six bath. Like I said, this is a six, six. His property is an eight, six. So that property is currently under contract for $679,000. And if you were listening closely, you heard that I got this property for 455. So this may be a situation where we don't keep this property very many years, we go ahead and we cash out and we get $150,000 and we split that with our investors or we may make it cash flow and continue because we expect to be able to make two to $3,000 a month profit on this property month after month. So I'll make that decision and do the best thing for our investors so that we can make the most money possible. So one of the questions that I'm asked all the time about the vision of New Res, and as a person that is interested in investing in real estate and really trying to learn, like I said, let me give you some really key information. I don't usually start with new construction. Like I said, because we had a lot of cash and because of the pandemic, that was one of the reasons we decided on a new construction property. Additionally, this property is unique. This is two units that I basically got using single family financing. I got a 9% commission to buy this and this was basically a builder's distressful situation. And so if this is the builder's final closeout, if they're offering tons of incentives, um, like I said, I'm a licensed realtor in the state of Florida. So not only did I get some incentives, I also was paid a commission, which took the price way down. So situations like that, you would be looking for new construction. Otherwise, stick with finding people that are in distress already. Someone that's behind on their mortgage payments, they're in foreclosure, they're in bankruptcy, See, they're divorced, they got relocated, and they need a property. Those are really where my students are finding a ton of opportunity for their Airbnbs and their short-term rental business, and that's where I would suggest for you if you're getting started. 
I'm gonna be showing you our brand new duplex that we are making more than $600 per night on, and it is the first acquisition of my crowdfunded company, New Res Incorporated. No she can fix that. Don't worry, she can fix that. Yeah, yeah. Gotta get it together, need to put it together where well, she can fix that, yeah, she can fix that. Need to clear up the clutter or it's all out of order well, she can fix that, yeah, she can fix that. If you gotta get it done, no, you need to do it better well, she can fix that, yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big stack, she can fix that, let's fix that. No way. She can fix that, let's fix that. Don't worry, she can fix that. Let's fix that. No L. You can fix that. No The next step was to take a blank builder's property and to transform it with New Res Incorporated decor, style, and all of the furnishing to match our brand. As you can see with our New Res properties, we decided to brand them so that when people came to them, it became a brand. All of our paintings have the New Res logo on them. We created signs and things like that within the property to let them know that they are in a New Res property. We changed the internet passwords and the code to the Netflix and the Hulus and things like that to say New Res so that people knew they were in a new res property and they were getting a five-star stay. Additionally, with my local contacts for furniture, I had some issues getting furniture during the pandemic, but I also was focused on getting a great deal. We made sure to do our research and we searched high and low for the best deals on mattresses, beds, and even the sofas and everything that you see in our properties. We also decorate our properties with our unique signature look. We make sure they have a certain amount of knickknacks and paintings on the walls. We paint a certain way and we use specific colors that are within our brand. All of it is designed to make sure that we brand our properties and that the visitors of these properties have an amazing time and they remember New Res Incorporated.
Yes, yeah, she will. Okay. Uh, very good at playing Don't be nervous. She's <laughs> right. She's right. She's right. She's right. She's right. She's right. She's right. Oh my gosh, I don't want to cry. So I'm like looking at you guys and I'm like so appreciative. And I say this to you guys every single time. Even when it used to just be like two or three of us, I was always so appreciative for everyone that would even do this with me. You know what I mean? And to see what we've done is like almost incredible. Like I just, just like the original people and then all of the, the people that have come along to help and how you guys have been able to just jump in and really care about our mission, our students, this business. And to know that this is like kind of the beginning still, this is definitely not the end by any means or even like in, by any stretch of the imagination, this is not anywhere near as big as it's going to get. This is truly our first acquisition of a business and I have so many more that we can do so this is just going to grow if we think that was a lot of people out there this is y'all we have no idea what's possible because even when I had my little YouTube channel and I had 500 subscribers and I used to be really really happy that 500 people had literally pushed the button and now to think that it's over 300,000 and it's all these millions of people and all these strangers that know that I lived in my parents basement and want to buy my book <laughs> It's like really, really incredible to me, not just to, 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 to my success, but really seriously to, the, to your success and to all of what you guys have done. You guys are so successful and so pivotal and so important to everything that I, to my success and everything that I've done. So I just really appreciate you guys so much for showing up, really actually caring, really doing it. Um, I, I love you guys so much and I'm just like excited that this is like the beginning. So thank you so much. Uh, I don't say much, but I, uh, I, I do want to just say just a few words, yes. and that is most people see the end results. Most people don't think about this. Success is usually the result of hard work. And that is actually what it is that you're seeing. It really is hard work. And that is a result of what it is that you've all done. That is it. Success is hard work. You should all be proud of it. And so with all of this said, I am so excited, so thankful, and so appreciative to you, my new res investors, to my fans, my subscribers, and to my team that have helped me build New Res Incorporated. It has been an amazing journey and we have triumphed. We've seen some challenges, overcome some hurdles, and even one of the worst economic collapses in our recent history. But we are strong and we are growing. The company has done so much and I am so excited for our future. We have properties, we are profitable, and we are growing every single day. This has been an amazing journey and I wanna thank each and every one of you for taking this journey with me. I just wanna make sure that you have all of the resources, all of the knowledge, and all of the tools that you need to be successful. This is Noel with New Res Incorporated, to your success.